Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Higgins, hip and knee replacement specialist with Tidewater Orthopedics. I'm here to talk to you today about the ready knee procedure and computer navigation, which is a tool that I use doing the ready knee, do three very important things uh, for the knee replacement. Those three things are having proper implant sizing for each particular patient, having proper soft tissue balancing, and realigning or straightening out the lower extremity. Computer navigation is both accurate and precise, and that differs from standard instrumentation that would be used for a knee replacement, which is accurate but lacks precision, so that the range of your alignment is going to be much greater uh, from where you're pointing at. Uh, it lacks precision. And what I mean by that, uh, these are standard uh, instruments that would be used without computer navigation. And you would use, uh, for instance, for the femoral cut, an intramedular rod like this, which goes inside the femur. And that's set to get a baseline. And on top of that, uh, we align cutting blocks based off of anatomic landmarks. Um, and that's accurate, but how, how precise, how much you're gonna hit the mark each time is gonna vary. You're, you're not gonna have a bullseye every time with your alignment. Similarly, the cut that's made on the tibia, that's uh, done using a, a jig like this, which goes around the ankle, and depending on the size of the patient's leg uh, and how muscular or, or how fat that calf may be, it can make getting the exact alignment uh, very difficult to do. It's very, very hard to be precise with these instruments. In comparison with computer navigation, what we have in the operating room is basically a mini satellite system. So you have a camera eye here that's connected to this computer. These camera eyes see these points which are fixed. There's uh, four small pins, two placed in the tibia, two placed on the femur. And those fixed points allow the uh, computer to know where the leg is. By registering points around the knee, the computer makes a model of the patient's leg and their knee in the operating room. And this will allow me to follow the leg virtually on the computer through the whole procedure. Once the leg has been registered and there's a model of the patient's knee and leg on the computer, I can check the range of motion and check the initial deformity. So by flexing and extending the patient's leg, the computer will follow the leg in real time. And on the screen, it will show the initial alignment. So for purposes of this uh, demonstration, this is a patient who has quite a bit of bowing in their leg. So it shows a fairly large uh, deformity of about 15 degrees of bowing. So this is a baseline deformity uh, that we're starting with. So now we've made a model of the patient's leg and knee, and we've measured the initial deformity, which will be straightened out as part of the knee replacement procedure. The next step is to go to sizing the implant to fit the particular patient. Um, so with standard instrumentation, with sizing, again, you're using rods and jigs, which uh, don't give you a lot of wiggle room. You can move up a size or down a size, um, and that's about it. With the computer navigation, before making any cuts on the patient, uh, once we have the model, the computer makes a recommendation. So for this model, it's recommending a size five femur. And uh, if I don't like that five and I go down to a four, that looks too small. Uh, let's go back up to five. So maybe five's a, a good fit, but it isn't quite fitting on the bone the way I want. I can adjust where that implant is gonna sit before making any cuts. So let's try to flex this femur two degrees more. And let's move that cut up one millimeter anterior. Perfect. So with the computer navigation, I'm able to plan out what I'm gonna do uh, to make the implant fit much more precisely. I'm able to move the implant or position it differently on the bone by flexing or extending um, or moving my cuts up or down. And I'm able to plan this out before I make any cuts uh, on the patient's bone. So it's much more, um, much more versatility in doing it this way, uh, much more of a custom fit. When performing a knee replacement, it's key to have proper soft tissue balancing and alignment of the lower extremity, making the leg straight from being bow-legged or knock-kneed. 
And those are things that surgeons are going to feel. As you do the surgery and put the implants in, you're gonna have a certain feel, put the leg through a range of motion and test the stability of the knee, the soft tissue balancing, and look at it for the alignment. And that's fairly accurate, but it's not very precise. It can vary from one patient to the next. And this is where the computer navigation is very, very helpful. This screen shows how we uh, balance that or measure that with the uh, computer navigation. So on the left-hand side, we have preoperative alignment. And you can see where this line is really what we're shooting for, and, and, and this leg is not straight. But at the end of the procedure, not only am I feeling it, but I'm, I have objective measurements to go by. Did, did I do what I set out to do? And yes, I did. I've realigned this limb. That's very important for the longevity of a knee replacement. If your leg is not straightened, uh, if you haven't correct the bowing in your leg uh, that's there from arthritis with a knee replacement, the knee re replacement is not going to last as long because it's going to wear unevenly on one side, which can lead to early loosening and failure of the knee replacement. So just another point uh, that makes computer navigation uh, key in doing the best possible knee replacement and having the longest lasting knee replacement.